some issues came up this weekend regarding uh, the, the Peace Garden and the uh, fire escape slash deck or whatever you like to call it. Uh, Tanya, do you have an update you'd like to talk about? Yeah, so um, we actually just before this meeting called the fire department. Um, fire, about nine guys came fire department came um, and we knocked on the door, rang the bell of the of the people who had the. Um, does everybody know the story? Do you need context? Okay. Here's the context. So right at St. Leonard's Church, uh, there's a building right next to it, an apartment building, and there's a um, a fire escape that overlooks the garden. Um, apparently tenants were put chairs outside on the fire escape um, and then if you want to elaborate on what else has happened. Uh, the context. We've had a few problems over there. They've been um, you know, hanging out out there, sunbathing, throwing things, calling people from the garden, calling people on Prince Street. It's not a nice thing to see when you're walking into a peace garden going into a church. So. So we called the fire department, they came over, um, they knocked on, on the door, they spoke to one of the roommates, there are three gentlemen who live there, uh, the, police, the police and the fire department spoke to um, one of the roommates uh, and they removed the chairs. Channel 5 and Fox 25 are covering it, um, so they'll be here in a couple of minutes. Um, and they caught the, the guy actually removing the chairs, which is great. Um, Thanks to Tanya, who gave him a heads up. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we made the call. So the fire department let them know, listen, this is unacceptable, it's unacceptable behavior, it won't be tolerated, and if it continues, we'll, we'll take further action. So that should be an issue that's settled and, and done. So happy to do it. Well, we'll still monitor it and see. Obviously, it gained some traction this past weekend. Yeah. So we're still gathering some details about the specifics and everything like that. Yes, sir. So they're tenants or they own? They're tenants. So talk to the owner. Well, okay. so we, we're we hearing that it's tenants. You know, nobody has caught them specifically in the act. Or, you know, they're, we're just from the ground level of the peace garden looking up. Um, there's some communication online, of course, uh, going back and forth with speculation. So it's, it's an ongoing issue where we're trying to determine how best to handle it. Uh, so it's, you know, we believe that they're tenants. Uh, we believe that there was communication with the owner, um, but you know, we're still we're still learning too. But the, the ultimate goal is to this, this, this activity doesn't occur. Obviously, we, we have uh, fire issues anyways. Cluttering the fire station is too good, among other things that are uh, should take place near a church or peace garden or anywhere to be. Just disrespecting the, the yeah. people that walk by from the garden. And Michael said they also threw a beer bottle in the vicinity statue. That just blew my mind. Right. And I, I just wanted to open the floor to anyone that, of course, we talked about a little bit earlier, and hopefully we uh, made enough noise that uh, the fire escape issue in terms of the Peace Garden and those that were harassing people coming by and otherwise um, you know, doing damage possibly to the Peace Garden itself and the enjoyment of it. Um, but I, I don't know if anyone else had any other information that they could share or um, suggestions as to how to move further. But hopefully, after tonight, with some of the calls we made, um, we see a, a change in behavior. Uh, I know that we have 311, so if, as, uh, as you see things that happen on that, uh, I say deck, but I use that term loosely because we know it's a fire escape. Uh, but uh, they can't be up there, they can't be doing things like that. Uh, but, it, but anytime you report it, uh, it, it should be should be uh, at least handled or identified. But uh, you know, if, like anything else, if, if you don't report it, they don't know. So um, as you see it, please please do so. But uh, I don't know if anyone on the council or any. Yes. This one, I said, I mean, can you as a group work with the legislature to put pressure on these landlords to throw these things out? I mean, are they, do they have that much sway, tenant? You know, I don't think it's sway. It, it's just a matter of that this this came to the forefront pretty quickly over the past weekend and got a lot of traction that way. So we're still we're still identifying things. We obviously the city and I and, and, and the council have a good relationship in terms of working and getting things done. But um, yeah, we're city. We still don't know. We still don't know enough information to see how to move forward. We just want to make sure that we're addressing it and then we can. 
you know, it's, see how they I mean, it's no, no, it's no more of a problem than when we're fighting with the Reunity Street. But I mean, I have to say, it's it's obnoxious. Like, who, who raised you to think it's okay to frolic like that? I, if, if you're not Catholic, like, well, it, it, it is. <laughs> There's just a level of respect that has just completely been. Well, the optics are uh, horrible. I mean, think about it. You know, roof deck over East Park of the church. Oh, you've got kids drinking, and crazy, and hollering, and people going by, just totally it's disrespecting the fact that it's a place of worship. It's crazy. Yeah. Not just the fact that it's under renovation. It's a church. It's a peace guard. And these kids don't care. And unfortunately, um, we've yet to hear that the landlord cares. Right. And that's the that's that's, 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 that's the egregious part of it. Department and the Boston Police 
Police Department very helpful tonight. They came yeah. within 10 minutes of the phone call, which was amazing. Um, and they managed to reach one of the tenants in his apartment and let him know very strongly that this was unacceptable behavior and it would not be tolerated. Clearly they have a lot of people after them and that if they see the chairs out, they'll follow up with them. Um, so I, I personally spoke with the fire department and the police department. They were, they were more than helpful. Um, and, I, and hopefully that's enough to scare them and, and the issue's dead and done, right? Um, if it continues, then we follow up.